Hello and welcome. It's Deborah, and it's 58 days to the April 8th total solar eclipse. Today, will the eclipse affect your smartphone? After all, in a solar eclipse, the moon goes between the sun and earth, and the moon's shadow falls on earth. Now, consider the uppermost part of Earth's atmosphere, called the ionosphere. Shortwave radio works because radio waves bounce off the ionosphere. And GPS signals travel through the ionosphere to reach your smartphone. So, can the eclipse affect the ionosphere? It's true that when the moon's shadow falls on Earth, parts of the ionosphere react much as if night has fallen. But there's more to the story, and here's Dr. C. Alex Young to explain. What we have currently understand is, is that GPS is affected very slightly. That is, the GPS signals are disrupted a little bit, which would cause errors in the accuracy of GPS. But the good thing is the GPS that you and I use with our smartphones is not as accurate and not it's not necessary for it to be as precise as that used by industry, and the effects are minimal. So a total solar eclipse can affect your smartphone, but the effect is minimal and short-lived. On April 8th, the longest possible totality when you'll be in the moon's shadow is 4 minutes and 27 seconds.